Hello there, my name is Nick Rosati, and today I will be doing a escape room review for uh, Ray's blog, and I'll be reviewing the Escape the 90s Room from The Quandary in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, so let's look at the questions I have to answer. Um, how many escape rooms have I done to date? Well, I've done about 25 to 30, say, I don't have an exact count, but it's about there, I've done quite a few. Um, and how would you rate the puzzles and technology of this room as compared to past rooms? Uh, this one is somewhere towards the lower middle of all the rooms. Uh, puzzles were pretty straightforward, you know, solve a riddle, go to the next one, etc. Um, the room was actually broken down into two different subrooms, we call them, and, uh, the one I was in didn't really have anything great in it, but the one that the uh, other half of the team was in had a pretty awesome uh, piece of technology that I hadn't seen in any other room, and uh, I was pretty jealous that I didn't get to take part in it. So your answer to this question could vary based on uh, which subroom you were actually placed in. How would you rate the decoration, theme, and immersiveness of the room? Uh, well, the decoration and the theme uh, rate pretty high on, on my scale. If you were a teenager in the 90s like I was uh, for a little bit, you remember uh, pretty much everything in the room, posters, music, video games, whatever. Whatever happened in the 90s, it was kind of in this room. Uh, as far as immersiveness goes, however, uh, a little bit lower on the scale. Uh, there was some pretty loud music playing the entire time. And even though they were pretty sweet 90s jams playing, it was so loud, it was kind of hard to think. Um, so it did kind of take you out of the whole moment. But uh, it was still pretty cool for the most part. How would you rate the difficulty? Too easy, too hard, or about right? It was about right. I mean, there was nothing in the room that we were absolutely stuck on and had no idea what to do with and there wasn't anything in the room that was like oh look at it and immediately solve it so uh it was you know it was good it was a good good room and just just about the right difficulty how would you rate your overall enjoyment and would you recommend it uh i would say it was about seven out of ten on the enjoyment scale uh I loved the decade of the 90s, so it was fun to do a room based around that entire uh, decade. And I know it went with some fun people, so I obviously enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of escape rooms, it kind of depends on who you go with. Um, so going with good people definitely helped. Um, and like I said before, might have had a little bit more fun if I was in the other sub room, but I'm not going to knock the room for the random draw of me getting into the worst sub room. Um, is there anybody that you would not recommend it to? Um, not really. Maybe if this was like your very first room you've ever done in your entire life, I wouldn't do it. Um, cause it's not, it's not one of the easiest ones. So if you're not familiar with like how escape rooms work or the flow of how things kind of work, uh, I can see it could be a little bit frustrating. So that'd be the only thing I'd say. How would you rate your performance in this room? Uh, I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10. Um, I, I mean, I did my part for the for the most of the room, and I solved puzzles pretty regularly, but there were a couple pretty big things that I missed, and uh, still, frust still frustrates me to this day, so I can't give myself the highest of marks on performance, but uh, I didn't do terribly, so somewhere in the middle. How would you rate your partner's performance? Um, pretty good, I guess. You know, I couldn't really see what the people in the other half of the room were doing, but they seem to be working pretty well and going pretty quickly through all the puzzles. So I uh, can't say anything bad about their performance. So I think it was pretty good. And uh, what advice would you give to room solvers to increase their chances of success in the room without giving away any specifics? Check everything and forget the walkie-talkie. Thanks.